the port of Tyre had yet held out against capture. But in this year, the king of Jerusalem attacked with renewed fervor. Foreseeing the city's demise, Tyre's governor beseeched the ruler of Damascus to hasten a vigorous force to his aid. At great speed, the most honorable Tukhtakin drew up to the city with a host of his Turkic horse archers. He planned to undermine the siege by attacking the Franks' resources. Tukhtakin's riders were unrivaled. Their hooves thundered and their arrows flew. They struck with such speed that the enemy would never know his own assailant. Without hesitation, Tukhtakin destroyed the Frankish camps. The more he did so, the more he weakened the attack on Tyre. Warriors and refugees arrived by land and sea, eager to join the fight. The nearby settlement would serve as a place to muster a fearsome army. Entabihu, ayabina. Amiru, ayida. Dinadhar. 
Fertile fishing waters lay close to the shore. The Damascenes had only to command a few of their number to fish there, and no soldier would need endure the roar of an empty belly. Word came that the Franks had gathered a great stockpile of lumber. They surely intended the wood for their siege weaponry. But dry wood easily burns.
شو يدا جيدا ما حالة متجهة ما أوامرك يا سيدي ما حالمهم أمرك القرويون هنا ساعدني هذا لدي مهمة Deploying every skill at their disposal, the Muslims sent trade ships to the city to keep the people supplied and the coin flowing. The Franks, at this time, bowed to their king, Baldwin of Jerusalem, a man whose rigid heart was fixed on the conquest of Tyre. To this end, Baldwin's men began constructing a colossal siege weapon, a wheeled beast, a ram of thunderous power, a destroyer of cities. The Damascenes had little time to gather their strength before the Titan attacked. جاهز أيها الخيالة تحرك أمرك يا سيد مستعد Though the stout city walls had borne Tyre through countless attacks, they now faced a trial of unimagined scale. Within the city, every archer, craftsman, smith, and sailor were called to the walls in Tyre's most desperate hour. Heading 
Relentlessly, the Franks did the bidding of their king, toiling by sun and moon to build his war machine. Ferocious as it seemed, the beast's weakness was its wooden construction. concluded the construction of their infernal colossus. As 
the beast labored along its forsaken path. The Damascenes raised their battle cry, united in their zeal to slay this monster. The tower erupted in splinter and flame. Its accursed architects fled, tail turned and ashamed in their failure. Tyre, city of the ancients, gateway to the Middle Sea, and now fortress of refuge, rejoiced in its hard-fought victory. The Tyrians wept and thanked God for his fearless Damascene. Deliverers.